Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you some basic commands to manipulate your file content. So in this tutorial, you are going to learn some very useful commands uh, commands that will help you to manipulate your file content. So the first command I wanna show you is head. Head is a command that used to display the first 10 lines of your file content. For example, if I wanna uh, print out the first 10 lines of the password from etc directory, PC, uh, P password. So it's just display the first 10 lines. This file may contain more than 10 lines, but I wanna display just the first 10 lines. I use a head command. Head is very useful. Uh, you can also use an option for uh, specify the number of lines that, that you wanna display from your file. For example, if I wanna display the first four lines, the first four lines, I can use the option for number and file name that you wanna display. Yes, it's displayed the first four numbers. You can also, because uh, if you do not specify the option, uh, it by default, it displayed the first 10 lines. And uh, you can also give more than 10 lines and it can display uh, 12 number of lines because I specified the number of lines that I wanna uh, print out. Uh, the other uh, important command is that will help you to manipulate your file content is tile. Tile is another command that used to display the last 10 lines of file. From the last, head is from the beginning, and this one is from uh, starting from the end and counting uh, to the counting back to the first uh, line, then it displays just uh, the last 10 lines by default. Uh, and uh, you can also pass uh, argue, uh, options to this. You can like number and you can display the last four lines, for example, and you can increase this. Okay. The other most important command that uh, I wanna show you is cat. Cat is a, a command that used to display the content of your pile. For example, cat etc password. It displayed the whole contents, uh, uh, the whole contents of your pile. But uh, it is different from the head and tile. Head displayed the first uh, 10 lines by default, and the tile displayed the last 10 lines from your file content. Uh, but cat uh, displayed the whole content. That's the difference. Uh, so you can uh, use any uh, one of the commands that you want to display your content. Uh, it is similar to the head and the tile command will display the last uh, 10 lines of the file. The other, uh, it, uh, the other uh, advantage of cat is it can copy the content of your file from one file to another file. How can you content? For example, let, let me create a file using touch command. I am in the home directory. Uh, I can create. Uh, let me create echo. By the way, echo is a command that used to create file with the content. For example, if I wanna pass one echo, then I can use greater than symbol, left arrow, and I can give the file name. This echo just uh, uh, a command that's used to uh, print the output and it's going to append this output one into the file, this one using this uh, operator, I mean command. So now I can check by listing the file. 
uh, first uh, .txt is uh, created, I can display that first .txt, the content is one. So you can use echo to create the file as well. And instead of using nano touch and this one. And if I wanna copy the content of this first file into another file, I can use cat, cat, first dot txt and this new dot txt now i can check uh, okay i can uh, copy the content of first dot txt into new file new file i can con uh, display the new the content of new file yeah the content is this content was created uh, at the file forest.txt, but I copied the content of this file into the new file, new.txt. So uh, this is the way how you can copy uh, content from one file to another uh, file. Cat is uh, useful. So you can use uh, this left arrow uh, to separate the old file and the new file. And it's going to copy uh, the content of the old file into new file. Let's do one more thing. Echo high, high, welcome. Then w.txt uh, or old.txt. Now I can check the old.txt to see the content of the file. Yeah, the content of the file is hi, welcome. And I wanna copy this old.txt uh, file content into another new uh, file. I can use cat old.txt, then left arrow, uh, new dot, new, file.txt. Now I can check both files. New file. Yes. Uh, this file was created uh, and saved into old.txt, but now I copied from old.txt into new file. New file.txt and it is uh, copied. The whole com uh, content is going to be copied into new file. So this is the way how you can copy the content from one file into another file using cat command. So not only for displaying the content of uh, the file, but also it can copy from uh, one file into another file. Uh, so cat is uh, short for concatenate. Uh, it means uh, cat is the short name of concatenate. Concatenate means just uh, combining one or more files together. Uh, one of the basis uh, use of cat is to concatenate files into a bigger or more. For example, let me create a file echo one, one dot txt, let, let me give file echo two, txt and echo three three dot txt uh, i have created three files uh, with the content of one two three uh, let me check that files you see uh, and i want to combine all those files together to merge uh, together and create a new big file I can use cat command, cat one txt, two txt, three txt. Uh, just separate uh, each file uh, by space, uh, follow uh, uh, this cat command followed by the list of the files, separate by a space, then it's going to just create one uh, big file or it's uh, concatenated. Uh, yes, 
it displays the whole thing. Uh, if I wanna just merge all into new file, I can uh, one, two, three, dot txt, cat one, two, three, dot txt. Yeah, it's merged the old, uh, or concatenated uh, the three files together and create a new file and copied the contents of the three files into uh, one single files and display look like this. This is the way how you can uh, concatenate uh, one more files together using cat command. So uh, cat command can use to display the content of the file, uh, used to uh, copy the content of file from one file into another file and also concatenate one uh, more files together to create a new big files. So these are the uh, very, very basic uh, uses of cat command. Okay. The other is tag. Tag is another command that is tag. Just one example will show you the purpose of tag. Uh, uh, for example, cat one, two, three. I have this file one, two, three, and I can just use tag one, two, three. Uh, this is, uh, in this case, it displays uh, from the first file into the last file using cat. But when you use tag, that's the reverse of cat, it reverses uh the order of the content the line of the content it just uh, reverse the order from the last into the first that is tag command that is the reverse of cat it displays from uh, starting from the last line into the first by reversing the content the line of that content so this is the basic use of uh, tag command Okay, uh, one more uh, command is more and less. The more command is useful for displaying files that take up more than one screen. More will allow you to see the contents of the file page by page and use the space bar to see the next page or queue to create uh, the the terminal, I mean the screen. So for example, more ATC, you see the more command, it's just uh, displays uh, one screen. If, if you wanna uh, see more about the content, you can press a space, uh, space, enter, and you can see Uh, so, so when it is uh, ended, uh, the whole content is uh, canceled. So this is the way, and you can use less command, less etc password. Uh, this is the way how you can display. Uh, when you, uh, there is a colon at the end of this content, you can scroll down to see more about the content. Uh, this is the end when it is, uh, if you may have uh, large content, so you can use less or more command to see the content of your uh, file page by page, page by page. Uh, if you wanna cancel, you can use Q command, just press Q command to cancel the screen. So those are the very basic uh, Linux commands to manipulate your file contents. Uh, so watch all uh, video tutorials, like, share, subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching for today.